consent that these letters be submitted for the record without objection. So ordered. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Shimkus. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A welcome, Administrator. A couple things. Uh, let's be clear. When we say price carbon, we mean energy costs increase, correct? If 50 percent of our electricity portfolio is coal, we're adding an additional cost to electricity if we price carbon, correct? It, and it depends on how it's done as to whether or not that's a small... Well, if we no. try to manage it, we have capital expenses, which then will incur millions of dollars of, of new equipment, or we go to carbon capture sequestration, which is 10 years down the road. That's all additional costs. So let's be clear. When people say price carbon, they mean increased costs. Let me refer to this foot poster here. I've used it many times. My colleagues can all name these individuals. This is what happened under the last Clean Air Act amendments, which I think you can credibly argue had toxic emissions. 14,000 jobs in Illinois, coal miner jobs were lost in Illinois alone, not including what happened in Ohio and Pennsylvania across this country. Uh, pricing carbon destroys jobs, not just in the coal mining industry, in the electricity industry and in the manufacturing industry because you will increase cost of doing goods. That's why we're now segueing from the climate debate to energy security because with the failed IPCC rulings, with climate gate, with the fact that the scientists are not using the scientific method to replicate these tests, the, the, the toxic, the, 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 well, we're talking about this Supreme Court ruling, the endangerment finding cannot stand on factual evidence. In fact, my colleague, uh, Mr. Inslee, it's just a perfect example of uh, using tests that can't be replicated in the natural environment because the test that he is quoting is a test that uh, is a synthetic reproduction using unnatural factors and variables. In fact, COT was not even the substance to lower the pH in these samples. What was used is hydrochloric acid. So what would help the world address climate is that we would agree to use real science, that real data that's, that the public can perceive, that can be replicated in a real world environment. We're not using the scientific method. That's why now the, the public is skeptical on this whole issue of climate change. Administrator, um, what is the percent of the Earth's atmosphere uh, that greenhouse gases make up? Uh, it depends on how you define greenhouse gases. Sir. Well, okay, you define it. Well, EPA's endangerment finding includes six gases. Well, what's the percentage? Uh, I, I, you know, I have, I have some... It is two. It's... Two percent of the entire Earth's atmosphere is greenhouse gases. Now, you know what is a major percentage of, the, of what makes up greenhouse gases in, in the Earth's atmosphere? Uh, I'm thinking water, water vapor. vapor. Okay. You know what percentage? 30% maybe? Uh, a little higher? Uh, no, I'm not going to guess. Why don't you tell me? 95%. 95%. So of the 2% of greenhouse gases that are in the atmosphere, do you know how much is man-made greenhouse gases? Which is what we're trying to say is endangering the the public health? Well, the gentleman yield. It's two, no, I will not. It's 2% of 2%. It is 0.28% of the entire Earth's atmosphere is what we're debating here. Now, let me ask another question. The endangerment finding says endangering public health. At what concentrations of carbon dioxide endangers individual public health? Well, we're not talking about what you breathe in that makes you sick. We're talking about concentrations of anthropogenic carbon dioxide. And, and define anthropogenic? Man-made. And that's 0.28% of the Earth's atmosphere? But, but we're talk you're talking uh, about... Yes or no? Is that 0.28% of the Earth's atmosphere? I I'll, I'll certainly verify. It's a very low number volumetrically. It's extremely but it is not low. low from a global... You know the frustrating thing yeah. about this debate? Is we keep using tonnage to say, and people think of tons, and they say, oh, we're overwhelmed by the tons. And we're talking about 0.28% of the atmosphere. Well, OSHA has a standard 
where parts per million affects public health. You know what that standard is? Oh, it's got to be fairly high. 5,000 parts per million. What is the parts per million in the Earth's atmosphere of greenhouse gases? It's 300 or so. 348 percent. This is a fraud being perpetrated on the world that's going to destroy jobs on a false premise that carbon dioxide is going to wipe out the Earth's planet. And, and the public is on to this, and I'm embarrassed by this administration to continue to Will the gentleman yield? I will not. I'll yield back my time.